see what God is doing as we open up his word. Get excited every week from what you heard. There's a purpose on your life, you know you need it. The son of man is coming back, better believe it. So get ready for the sermon hype. Sermon hype. Sermon hype. So get ready for the sermon hype. Sermon hype. Sermon hype. Get ready, get ready. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us again for our Sermon Height video this week. We are coming out of our Fugazi Faith sermon. And so the three points that we talked about on Sunday night was Fugazi Faith, which is fake faith. And we talked about how it doesn't work, it doesn't give, and it doesn't love. And I kind of want to dive into a little bit deeper on that and just kind of touch on those three points again and just kind of talk about maybe what that looks like, what that means to us, and then we'll talk about Blazy Faith. So stick around for that. All right, here we go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Fugazi faith and what that looks like. You know, we uh, there's a lot of Christians out there. We go to church, we play the game, mm -hmm. but we won't forgive. We see somebody who needs something and we won't give it to them, right? Um, we only love those who love us back. And we don't want to do any more for God. We just want to stand by and let God do what he's going to do. That's Fugazi faith. Um, no work, no love, no give. And I think the thing that we that we brought out the most is that it doesn't really matter here now. It doesn't. But when we get to the gates of heaven and God opens up our soul, will he look at us and say that our faith was fugazi, fake? Yeah. I think that's important. Yeah, and I think what stood out to me was, you know, everything else that we see on a daily basis, you know, and I, I reference social media here only because I think that is the biggest example I could come up with of, um, like, self-awareness. Like, the, one of the biggest times you compare yourself to somebody else is when you're sitting there looking at it and you see it and you see, oh, yeah. well, they have something I don't or they have something I like or something I want. And I think it's easy to gravitate to something like that and then you yourself, you know, start building from the outside in, whereas our faith should be from the inside out. And we don't want that superficial face value highlight reel. We, we want to be real. You know? Sure. So do you have anything to add on that, Maddie? Yeah, I mean, I think, of course, this time is like, oh, social media all the time. Like, yeah. we have, that's become our new reality. And it's not even, it's not even real. We know about, um, most people don't just post a picture that they take. They put all these filters on it and and you can almost like not recognize the picture that you're seeing yeah <laughs> uh, which is kind of what we do in our faith like we put all these things in front and it blocks us and and it's not even real and so when I'm trying to share Jesus with somebody and it's fake yeah. and it's it's all these it it looks pretty yeah it's not the same thing so like I'm sharing a fake Jesus with, with them therefore they're getting fake Jesus and it doesn't it doesn't cycle. work that way and it's because i'm missing the real thing yeah i like mm. that hashtag no filter no filter <laughs> all right don't be fugazi <laughs> <laughs> all right cool so let's talk about then blazy faith Woo! let's go into what we have for this coming sunday all right so i'm really excited about this coming sunday because blazy faith is based on the story in daniel 3:16 of the three little hebrew boys shadrach Meshach. Meshach and Abednego, right? And how they were thrown into the fire. Um, but that's not why it's blazy faith. The reason it's blazy faith is how do you fight fire? Hmm. How? With fire. Oh, I like oh. it. You know, you I was going to say water. I was going to say water. <laughs> <laughs> and then I could tell that wasn't what you were That's doing. That's not where I was going. You fight fire with fire. These kids were on fire with their faith. Um, and I'll, I'll give you this hint as we're going into it because the way the way this story is written in the Bible and the way these boys um, actually acted was when King Nebuchadnezzar told them that they had to bow down to these idols. Um, they looked at King Nebuchadnezzar and they and they said to him, "said Look, we don't need to defend our faith to you. Um, we have, the God we serve can and will deliver us." From the majesty's hand. And even if he doesn't deliver us from this fire, he will still deliver us from your hands. Kaylee yeah. Penny preached about that on Youth Sunday. And she said, um, and even if you don't, you're still good. Like, yes. Even if you don't deliver me, 
I still know that you're good, and I know that you have a plan. And so that has, like, stuck in my head ever since she said that. It's funny you say that, because that has been it's stuck in my head, too. And when you said it, I thought of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. But, uh, but, I mean, to be on fire fights the fire. The, the other part of that, too, is, you know, we think of the fire as this ferny, this burning furnace. Right. Um, but we all go through fires in our life. Oh, yeah. You know, we have fire. all. There's fire all around us. Yeah. How do we fight it? We try to get a water pistol, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's sometimes that's where our faith is. Right. Our faith is in our money. Our faith is in our families. Our faith, but our faith should be in the one who created us. Yeah, which goes back to the fake faith. <laughs> is like you can't have the fake faith and then try to fight this big fire. Like you got to have the real thing to fight the real yeah. fire. Right. Yeah. Which goes back to FOMO faith because we have the fear of missing out on the things that are around us. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but but the thing is that's that's one of the things I love about this series is yeah. I, I don't know about you guys, but this is changing the way that I truly look at my own faith. Oh yeah, sure. um, 100%. You know, so uh, I hope that it takes fire in our church and in our community and then it's going to be interesting to see how that change just keeps rolling downhill. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, me too. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in for another one of our Sermon Height videos. If you want to find out how to fight fire with fire, I hope to see you either in person or online for our service this Sunday night at 630. And as always, drop your comments below of anything that you would like for us to cover in these videos. Like, subscribe, all the things. And we will see you next week. Peace out. This church is on fire! <laughs> I just felt wrecked my entire... <laughs>